Look, I am here because I know, simply stated, Colorado needs to produce more graduates of our P-12 system who are prepared, who are ready, who are able to move on to higher education successfully if that's their choice. I know that the Colorado Commits to, ki to Kids campaign is really about that. What we, re what we really want to do is make key investments in college readiness through programs that we know work, programs like in early childhood education, extend, extended school days and school years for kids who need it, interventions for our students most at risk of failing or dropping out. We know that Colorado Commits to Kids will encourage alternative education options, like concurrent enrollment for our high school students across the state, and particularly a better use of online and, bl online and blended learning. Now, I speak to you as a former community college and university president, but more importantly, as a parent of four kids who are graduates of Colorado's public schools. We know that not all kids enter school on equal footing. We know that not all kids speak the same language at home. We know that not all kids have books in the home. We know that not all kids make the same progress once they show up at school. And we know there are kids who can benefit for more advanced placement classes, for more college level, more rigorous courses while they're in school. But if we want kids to graduate and all be ready for higher education, we need to make sure that we can provide the level of individualized support that most of our districts cannot now afford to offer. That's what's key. And it's key not just for those students, but for the long-term goodwill, good of this state. We know that if we do not have a strong and well-educated workforce, we will not have a strong economy. We also need to be thinking about maintaining access to high quality, higher education. And that's not gonna happen if we don't make significant changes to the way our state budget is structured. This campaign, if it's successful, will allow us to set aside a certain amount of money for K through 12, a fixed share of the state's budget, but to avoid crowding out higher education funding in lean times. After all, if we're successful in producing more graduates of high schools, we want to make sure that those students have the opportunity to, to attend affordable, high-quality institutions of public education in the state. That's how we build a strong state. That's how we build a strong future. That's how we look out for our kids.